So we are here in Israel, and behind me is the Ayalon Valley. This is a place where Joshua prayed a crazy prayer. God, make the sun stand still in the sky. And it's amazing to think about the fact that 3,400 years ago, this happened here in this place. That the things we read in the Bible, they're actually here in Israel, rooted in archeology span and in history, and that should give us confidence in our faith. So why did Joshua pray this crazy prayer? Because God promised that the five kings of the Amorites that were attacking, that God would deliver them into his hand. And so the day's over and he hasn't finished conquering. And so he prays a prayer that's never been prayed before. God, make the sun stand still over this valley of Ayalon. And the Bible says the sun stopped in the middle of the sky and delayed going down a full day. And there has never been a day like it before or since that the Lord listened to a man. And this should help give us confidence that we should pray audacious prayers. That we shouldn't live in complacency and settle, well, the day's over and there's not much more I can do. Maybe God's challenging us to, to think about how we pray. And maybe we have not because we ask not. And Joshua wasn't the only man who had this audacious and crazy faith. He had a friend named Caleb. And in Numbers 14, 40 years earlier, they had traveled into the land. They saw this land of giants. And both Joshua and Caleb said, though it's a land of giants, it's also a land flowing with milk and honey. And God has given us this land. And these enemies, though they look big and intimidating, we're going to swallow them up because the Lord has already given them to us. And now Caleb, at 85 years old, he looks at a city called Hebron and he says to Joshua, give me that mountain, give me that city full of giants because though I'm 85, I still have the vigor and conviction I had when I was 45 and I am not done. I'm not settling for the status quo. I'm not praying small vanilla prayers. I wanna go big because I serve a big God. And church, this is so important for us. We look at Joshua and Caleb and their faith and we have to ask ourselves the questions, do I pray audacious prayers? Do I have that type of faith? And here in this holy land in Israel, we have a chance to reflect on that challenge, that we live lives of courageous, audacious faith. <laughs>